Well, the Texas legislature has just taken a huge step forward in addressing the power grid failures back in February. The main bill addressing a multitude of power grid issues has passed the Senate and now poised to pass the House. Six News reporter Andrew Moore tells us what comes next. The Texas House spent three and a half hours today discussing Senate Bill 3. That's the bill that will deal with some of the greatest issues of the Texas power grid. Now it's on its final step before the governor can sign. Uh, when we started this out, we said we were going to fix it, and I think we've gone a long way towards doing that. All in favor say aye. All in favor say nay. You guys have it. SB3 is past the third reading. It's taken 132 days since the legislature started, but the main bill designed to address the state's power grid issues is about to pass the House. It combines a lot of fixes into one document. For some priority House bills, House Bill 10, 11, 12, this is a collection of that individual work that we did back then. The now amended Senate Bill 3 would require power generators to winterize and prepare for extreme weather, improve communication before an emergency, establish a Texas Energy Disaster Reliability Council, and make sure power plants don't get their power turned off during an emergency, among other solutions. Representative Chris Patty summed it up like this. To try to address three main buckets, if you will, and that is oversight and accountability, communication failures, which we saw throughout the system, and weatherization. The bill should pass tomorrow and return to the Senate. If the Senate likes it, they can send it to the governor. If the Senate doesn't like the changes, both houses will create a joint committee to work that out. But lawmakers understand this is their last chance to get this done. I'm sure most members feel this way, if not all, that uh, I, I don't think it's acceptable for us to leave this session not having passed this bill and these reforms. Once the House passes the bill tomorrow, they will have eight days to work with the Senate and get it before the governor. Andrew Moore.